To replace the coolant temp sensor, you can either go through here, right between all of this, or through the fender well. You don't have to remove the wheel. You can just jack the van up a little bit and uh, slide over the wheel and work. But if you zoom in close right here, you can see the temperature sensor right next to the exhaust manifold. I am going to show it to you from up here while I work from down through the fender well. Now the reason I'm replacing this is because mine is broken. Uh, as you can see, the connector, well, the, the sensor itself is broken into the connector. So I'm going to try and separate the two. Just going to do this. So there we go. This is supposed to be part of the sensor right here. Obviously that's not the case anymore. So let's take this out. Now keep in mind there is coolant behind it. So I have a collection bucket ready to catch all the coolant that's draining. I should also have the new sensor ready. I'm going to stick a 19 millimeter socket up here and remove the sensor with that. All right, so what I'm going to do now that it's loose, it's about to come out, I'm going to have the other sensor in my hand ready to go. As soon as this one comes out, shove the new one in and you will make minimal mess. The same size socket and snug this one up. Once it bottoms out, just give it a little extra to crush that gasket that's there so it can seal up properly. Let's clean up our mess because coolant is slimy, so it's gonna leave residue behind and you don't want that. I'm gonna blow a little bit of compressed air right inside of the connector. That way I make sure it's all completely dry. Take this, goes this way. Make sure it clicks, and there you go. If you had a check engine light because of it, like I did, go ahead and reset that, clear it, and then let the engine warm up and make sure it all works well. Now I didn't lose much coolant at all, so I'm not gonna add any, but if you lost more or if you think you need to add some, go ahead and add some to the overflow tank or even the radiator if you think you really lost that much. But if you did it as quick as I did, this shouldn't be a problem. So just go ahead and top it off if you think you need to and then take it for a road test.